Sí, San Miguel Aguilar. Nice to see you again, though. I'm here to review your food. Are you ready? Let's heat it up. Here we are. This is cooking with Carlos, and we are at uh, Surfish with Miguel Aguilar, a friend of mine, very good chef, and I would love to present his cuisine in the restaurant. How are you, Miguel? I'm very good. It's a pleasure to be here cooking with Carlos, and I want to show you how to make a chupe, a lobster chupe. I got the lobster in the market in Chelsea, and I hope that we can make it work perfectly with this dish. Okay? Oh, yeah. Um, so you're making a traditional uh, Peruvian dish. Peruvian, yeah. My restaurant is, uh, is surfish, it's, uh, it's Peruvian, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's a fusion. I've been cooking in America for like 20 years, so uh, what I'm doing is... You're, I'm, you're I'm, doing the fusion, all global fusion? It's American Peruvian. I mean, it's even better, even yeah, better. You know, America is full of you know, Japanese, Chinese, uh, Italian, French, so I can do whatever I want. So okay. Well, well let's show me what you got. Actually, okay. what do the ingredients for the recipe? Okay, we have lobster, the lobster you got. Uh, I have potatoes, garlic, onions, cilantro, uh, green peas, mm -hmm. uh, Peruvian corn. Peruvian corn, Peruvian which is corn. The, the secret of the recipe. Uh, aji panca, it's very special. It's, a, it's a aji panca we use for every, every single dish, dish in Peru. Aji amarillo, black mint, Peruvian black, black mint, and a little parmesan cheese. You know what? I just want to tell you that my favorite, favorite food is the Peruvian cuisine. Oh, that's great. Uh, I think it's the, one of the best in the world, and it's popping up very well. It, most of the chefs around the world, they are taking some from the Peruvian gastronomy, and they are delivering that information in a dish, which for me is incredible. Let's make it happen. So let's, we're ready to go. We're going to start getting all, you know, the flavor from the lobster. We're going to use the head, the head, the head of the lobster. Of, you know, oil. How do you do the, the, the stock? Yeah, I'm gonna put just the head. Mm -hmm. very hot. Wow. Magic, magic you with anything. You know, all the useful. I oh. think you're missing this. I'm put some onion first. Okay, go ahead. And some garlic. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm gonna put some stuff. Sure. Here we are. Yeah. A little more. Fill it up. A little more? Yeah. More, more. Yeah. What kind of stock are we using here? Well, I'm using uh, miso and uh, bonito. Even better. Yeah. You know, it's a that, the the flavor out. The Japanese the fusion. fusion. Mm -hmm. yeah. So now I'm gonna put some oil. Uh, we start with a little uh, onions. Red onions. Red, Red onions. onions. Garlic. Garlic. Ahi. We're gonna use some uh, aji panca. Aji panca. We use aji panca on every dish. That's to, to give it a little bit heat. That is the, the traditional Peruvian flavor. It's gonna give color, mm -hmm. uh, a wonderful flavor, nutty flavor. Mm -hmm. And it's smoky. And it's smoky. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very smoky. Yeah. Now we are and going with the aji amarillo. Aji amarillo. Give the heat. Yeah. Smells so good. Yeah, already it can smell. Toasting the, the, the ingredients. We're gonna put some uh, oregano. Oregano. And a little. The, the broth. Sure. There we are. A little bit more. You put some cream in there? Not yet. Mm -hmm. But we're going to. And then we're gonna put some celery. Okay. Now we put the vegetables. A little red pepper. Mm -hmm. Tomatoes. Tomatoes. You're using cherry tomatoes, right? Cherry tomatoes. Kind of sweet. And now we're gonna put more stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this is gonna start cooking. Okay. It smells so good. Season a little bit with salt. Salt. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna add the cream. Great. 
that's gonna give a little bit of uh, texture like to the sauce. Yeah, it's like a bisque. Mm -hmm. It's basically a Peruvian bisque. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I'm gonna let boil for a little bit. In the boil. And brace all the flavor. Together. The flavor together. Uh -huh. Now it's time to add some uh, corn. Corn. Cilantro. One other bits. bits and potatoes. And potatoes. A little butter. And now it's time to add uh, so the thickness. The lobster. The lobster. Mm -hmm. Add uh, the lobster tail. Mm -hmm. The whole thing. And the cloth. Mm -hmm. Already is open already. Mm -hmm. Open it. You look great, Mio. I love lobster. Yeah, well, that was your pick. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna put all the meat. And this is gonna be ready like uh, a flash. Mm -hmm. like, like two minutes is. It's a quick soup. Yep, and immediately start getting the pink color uh -huh. and getting thicker. Let me see. This is magic. Oh man. That means it's good. You want to try? Put it over here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right over here. With the temperature is higher. Yeah. And now it's going to start pumping. What, how, how, how did you bring the idea for this restaurant, the oh. concept? Uh, because uh, I serve all my life. You know, mm -hmm. I'm from Peru. I used to surf in Peru, I came here, I kept surfing, so, and I love fish. Mm -hmm. And I love, you know, all, all about fish, so I put the two words together, surf and fish, so. So what you are there, you are a seaman. Now it's surfing. <laughs> yeah. So this is ready to, to play. We're gonna yeah, play let's play it. The chupe. The chupe, chupe de langosta. Langosta, it's like a Peruvian beast. Peruvian beast. Mm -hmm. You know what, before you played it, Taste it. Let's get to the point already. Let me taste it. Wow. Wow. It's so elegant. It's so elegant. It's like, it's like Only you Miguel, can make it happen. You have to come to Surfish. Uh, and it's very easy to get here. It's in Park Slow, Brooklyn. And what's the address? It's 351 Fifth Avenue between 4th and 5th Street. Yeah. Brooklyn Park Slow. You know the heart of the restaurant business now in, in Brooklyn, which is Park Slow. Yeah. So we want to plate it. There you go, look at the colors. There's the rice, the tomatoes, yeah. pieces of lobster, mm -hmm. potatoes, green peas. Mm -hmm. All together. All together. The miso broth. The miso make a consistency that... With a little cream, cream. you know. Well, and the, the lobster tail. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put it right on top. Right there. Right. Looks looking good. Looking good, right. definitely. And this is a Peruvian chupe de langosta. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put some uh, parmesan cheese. Parmesan cheese. That's amazing, Miguel. And you know what? This is cooking with, with Carlos. Carlos. Well, here we are tasting the dish at Surfish with Miguel Aguilar. And something that impressed me with this dish, first is the flavor, the texture, um, the, it's so rich. Um, and I can get the, the Asian uh, fusion with the Italian, with the oregano. It's, it's, it's excellent, it's excellent. I suggest people to try this dish here in your place. That's the uh, lobster chupe. Chupe de langosta. Uh, chupe de la costa. What is what does mean chupe? Chupe means like sucking, mm -hmm. <laughs> basically. Yeah. That's what it means. Uh, you can make chupe in Peru. It's very it's traditional, but you can make chupe of, of shrimp. Mm -hmm. It's very common. Mm -hmm. Chupe you know, with fish, with clams, with anything, mm -hmm. even with potatoes. You get chupe of potatoes. Uh, yeah, uh, every uh, every part of Peru has. Different style. Okay. Lobster uh, will be made in the coast, right? Of course, yes. 
Yeah. Well, Peruvian food is amazing. One more thing. Um, what is what exactly your inspiration to do all this restaurant to, to create this in, in Parks Go? I don't know. I, I, when I came from Peru, I, I came straight to Brooklyn. So I've been here for 20 years. So Brooklyn is you know, it's my, my second house, mm -hmm. my second town. Mm -hmm. And I wanted I want just to open a restaurant, you know, because I love to cook. I became a chef and I want to just open a small place. For the neighbors. It looks like a boutique restaurant. What I like from your menu is that you have a variety of uh, too many good dishes. And, and you, you, you take your time to create each dish to deliver it the best of your cooking yeah. to the neighborhood. Um, you got a very good wine selection as well, champagnes. And right now I'm, I'm tasting this Prosecco. with a Rico. Uh, this is a well, sparkling wine. Prosecco. Yeah, but well, you have to taste chupe with Peruvian beer. Oh, that's the way how you guys do it there? Yeah, man. That beer? Mmm. It's a lager. Yeah. Let me taste it. Mmm. Mm, perfect. Miguel, we worked together before. I know how good chef you are. Um, we work here in Parkes Law. And you stay in Parkes Law. That made me feel proud that you are, uh, you are doing your best in your neighborhood. Yeah. Um, you, this is a family-oriented place, right? Yes, it's, you know, it's my family. It's my, me, my mother, and my wife, Magdalena. Magdalena. And you got a new kid, right? Yeah, you, you, you got a father, Micaelo. Yeah. He's almost two. Congratulations. Miguel, what, where do you see Miguel from today in, in the future? Where's, uh, where, where is your goal, your main goal? Now? My goal is just offering very good food to the neighbors, mm -hmm. you know? And let them know what is Peruvian food all about, mm -hmm. you know, and just give my heart to them because I enjoy, I enjoy just looking at you, mm -hmm. and looking love at it. you, and you know, enjoying my dish. This is this is why. Well, that's 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 the, the main the main pleasure that a chef can get yeah, when you see somebody enjoying your your your, your creation. Um, what is the response for the neighborhood with your restaurant? They actually love it. You know, I've been open for like nine months already, and uh, they like it. They like it. I have nice reviews. People come. I have so many compliments, and that, that, that fills me with joy. You know? mm -hmm. I'm very happy. Very happy. Well, I'm very, I'm very, I'm very happy. Let me, let me, let me try this with them. Um, mm. It's perfect. The fry mm -hmm. on top. Well, what, what I was gonna say. Good luck with your business. Thank you. I'm very glad that you are part of Cooking with Carlos and hope that we can come back and review uh, this restaurant in summer. Oh yeah, come in the summer. Mm -hmm. Because you have a backyard. I have uh, a you... backyard and I have uh, ceviches, man. And you have to try my ceviches. Ceviches is the best. Uh, ceviches, uh, uh, you can eat ceviches anytime, at any moment, and it's really healthy. Yeah, but summertime is the best for ceviches. Well, congratulations for this dish. Here is the end of the loster that I pick up in the market. Yeah. That's the end. Oh, Let me. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> well, Miguel, um, you told me that it tastes good with beer, and you took my beer. Give it back to me because <laughs> this is cooking with, with Carlos. Carlos. I'm Miguel Aguilar.